few days ago, I showed you the Theodore Roosevelt birthplace in Gramercy, a building that was a replica of the original childhood home of our former president. Today I'm here in New York, I'm on Duralman Street in Brooklyn Heights, and another building that is not what it seems. Number 58 Duralman Street, this house right here, isn't a house at all, it's a subway ventilator and an emergency exit for the 4 and 5 train. From 1847 to 1908, this house was indeed a private brownstone, but as subway service entered Brooklyn, the house was in, it has gained a new purpose, housing electrical service services to convert electricity from alternating current to direct current to power the subway. Eventually that led to the all blacked out windows and the vent above the door, completing its transformation from beautiful home to world's only Greek revival subway ventilator. And I was talking with someone in the community who was just walking by as I was having a donut, because I like donuts, and you know, she was saying how in the community it's not exactly something they like to talk about, that it poses a risk for the folks living in Rippon Heights that there's something very volatile right here in a place where the houses are kind of fragile. So it's interesting, but I don't wanna I don't wanna sugarcoat it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I gotta say by the way, I find it funny that the they have the circular over oh, here, know, even though there's no one living in this house, and there hasn't been anyone living in this house for over a hundred years.